and that's about it. So I'll see. You. Ooh. Ooh. Where's my mod? Where's my mod? Swinging on and happy. What's up YouTube, welcome back to Wacto eSig. Uh, last video I did, there was a giveaway for the Freemax Star Pure uh, Sub-Ohm tank that takes the ceramic coils. So the winner of that is going to be right here. And all you need to do if you're the winner is send me a message on YouTube so I can verify that you were indeed the winner. And then I'll send it out to you and we'll work out the whole shipping thing. Also on the last video, I asked you guys to tell me what was your strangest or most surprising injury because I hurt myself right before doing the review and it was a whole thing so I read them and there were some really good stories. Uh, there was Remote 44 who managed to throw his back out while lifting an empty box. Um, there was James Cloud who managed to get knocked out and unconscious from a croquet ball. There was Don Smith who fell down a hole, managed to dodge some cables and then fall forward and fracture her ankle in three different places. I'm sorry to be laughing, these really probably weren't funny at the time but they made me laugh. And then there was Rickster. Oh. Rickster, please tell me, and I guess everyone watching, how did you manage to bruise your dick in a vacuum cleaner? Actually, I don't really want to know, please don't tell me. So I had some good fun with that, um, and I kinda wanna do it again because that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. This time, let's see, tell me what was the funniest thing that you've seen or done, kinda just walking down the street. I know for me, walking into poles while looking at my phone has been a common occurrence. Uh, not so much anymore after I realized this has got to stop, but in the past it's happened a lot. So what kind of things have happened to you or have you seen? So now that's out of the way, let's talk about Cloud Cash. Cloud Cash is what I'm reviewing today. And I have it down next to me. This is their box that it comes in. You can probably see by the title of this video that it is a e-liquid subscription company. So how does it work? Uh, much like Zample Box and things like that, you basically go on their website, you choose a tier of which box you would like to get every month. Uh, the one I have, I think, is the Enthusiast, and that gives me four 30 mil bottles, uh, which equals 120 mils and the price one second. The price for the Enthusiast, which is four bottles, is 70 Canadian dollars. Uh, keep in mind all the US people watching, Canadian dollars obviously is worth less than your American dollars, so it's not gonna be as expensive as it may sound. Uh, the Sampler, which is a smaller one, is three 30 mil bottles, or 90 milliliters, for 52.99. Um, and then the Fanatic, which is five bottles, uh, 150 mils, 85.49. So I did the math. And it basically works out to anywhere between like 17 and 18 Canadian dollars per e-liquid. That's not the best price in the world when you kind of want to be getting, getting these things consistently. Personally, I would want it cheaper so that I know if I don't like it, I'm not just dropping too much money. But I'm basing it on my experience, right? And the bottles I got uh, in a retail store, if I went into a store and I paid for them, I'd be paying at least 19.99 Canadian. That's the cheapest one, right? So. It's still saving you money, but it may not be the cheapest way to buy your e-liquid. All the whole thing works though is pretty simple. You go on their website, you hit subscribe, and then the tiers come up. You choose which one you use. I said before, I'm using the Enthusiast, so you click on that, and then you choose from a pretty decent selection um, which flavors you like. Now, it's not exactly precise. They try and do it, I guess, as precise as possible, but obviously they're there's so many flavors in vaping that you're never gonna get it down to the T. Um, maybe in time, I don't know, but as it stands, it's not a bad collect. It's not a bad selection. After that, next step is what flavors you don't like. Very similar process, but that way you can kind of uh, sign off any flavors that you really don't want to be getting and spending $17 on. The last step is choosing your nicotine level. Um, you're not going to be able to do it very precisely either. It's, say you like your nicotine level at 7 milligrams, right? Not many companies make 7 milligrams, so all this company Cloud Cash is doing is collecting them from other companies. Chances are you might not get a 7 milligram, but you'll get the regular 0, 3, 6, maybe 12. After that, uh, you check out and you send them an Interac, I believe. If they're doing PayPal, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't go through the entire payment process because I haven't paid. Um, this was free for review, so I'm not 100% sure if you can get it in the States. Probably not because you already have your own services, but 
something to look into, I guess. And then it gets sent out to you. Um, mine took about a week to get to me. That's, uh, say, around seven days, maybe including weekends. It wasn't the quickest, but at the same time, you're getting the monthly. So if you know how much liquid you use, chances are you won't go through three, four, five bottles in a month. Or maybe you do, it really depends on what you're using. That's why they have the different tiers. So enough about the basic service, how to go through it. Let's open the box. And I, I just, I know everything's gonna fall out. It's okay. So, if I can hold this back. Um, I got two cards in here. One of the card was saying thank you for doing the review. It's a business card. If that will focus, let's see. There we go. Um, and then the next one, another business card, but on the back they listed the flavors that I got. Now this I kind of have to criticize. I like the fact that they tell you what you're getting, but uh, I don't know, maybe because it's a new company, it's not uh, super fancy and everything, but I would have liked to see at least like a real card, a flavor profile, flavor menu, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe in the future they'll do that. Um, and I don't see why they wouldn't, but right now you get uh, a business card with writing on the back. Still know what you're getting though, which is nice. So I got four liquids in here. One is a US juice as far as I know, and that's called uh, Golden Ticket by Met4, I think it's called, and that's a chocolate milk. Uh, it's probably the best chocolate milk vape I've ever had. Comes in this box. It's really nice if that will focus. Not 100% sure. Uh, it's very classy, the bottle, very classy. It's, it's really nice, I got it in six milligram, and to me it tastes like a dark chocolate milk. It's very creamy, but it's still kind of bold on that chocolate flavor. Not waxy, not powdery, I was very impressed. I also got a bottle of Moshi. Um, I don't really like any Moshi liquids. I used to like one of them, uh, I think it was like a strawberry parfait, couple years ago but it's just it has too much flavor in it maybe very good for smokers because they can't taste much but I have a very sensitive palate and I can just feel the flavors on my tongue it's it's not the best experience for me the next one is called Samson's prize by the juice punk uh, another Canadian company uh, like Moshi if I didn't mention that already this one is like a cupcake vanilla bean Caramel cream something like that actually I still have the menu. What did they say it is vanilla bean sweet cream cupcake? And it pretty much tastes like that. It's a very sweet flavor, but it's not overly sweet I think the creams kind of mellow it out and the sweetness still comes through, but it's not overpowering And finally dr. Fogg's famous ice cream. This one is called Sirius This one is a strawberry deep-fried ice cream and it sounds delicious, but this one is too sweet for me. Uh, Dr. Fogg, very good liquids. I really like their original line, but I find this one's just a bit too sweet for me. Um, they pretty much nailed the profile though. It tastes like a strawberry deep fried ice cream, if you've ever had that. Um, it's just very, very sweet. So was I impressed by the flavors that I got based on what I asked for? Relatively, I mean, I said I liked a lot of stuff, which is not the best in this situation if you really want to fine tune what you want. Um, so I got like a fruit, a cream, chocolate, um, and then a dessert like the ice cream. So it's a decent range that they sent me. Maybe they sent me that because of the fact that I'm doing a review. They wanted to spread it out. I'm not sure. But I think they did a good job of sending me what I asked for and it's completely out of their control whether I like it or not. So is Cloud Cash worth it? Um, I think it's worth it if you don't have access to a brick and mortar store, a vape store anywhere, um, because when you go into a vape store, normally, at least the one I work at, there's a lot of flavors to choose from. You can sit there as long as you want, go in as many times as you want and try to find something you really like. When you find it, you buy it, you're good. But if you don't have access to that kind of service, um, I really like the idea that you can try liquid from all over the place, uh, companies you may have never heard of, companies you've always wanted to try but couldn't get shipping from the States, um, like that golden ticket. Um, I think that it will be worth it. As far as the price, I personally would have liked to see each bottle down to around 15 bucks because 
that's a decent price. If you're getting a 30 ml bottle for 15 Canadian, that would be a really good deal. I think what they can do instead, if they can't pull that off yet, because they're still a relatively small company, they can maybe offer the initial discount, which is like 10%. Maybe offer that on the second one as well because the first time you get this box, chances are you're not going to be satisfied because it's basically a very simple equation and results may vary. So by the second, third time and you keep refining it to find exactly what you want, after a few times you're going to be pretty much in the clear every single time as to what you're going to get. Unless a company makes your favorite profile in a different way and you don't like it, that could also happen but I mean I like the idea. It has a purpose, it serves a purpose, and it's not the worst price in the world. So yeah, maybe they can consider what I just said. Maybe you guys can consider trying this out. If you've had any experience with either this company or one of the others, and you can maybe drop them advice, go ahead. Um, I know that they were asking for advice on Reddit, I saw one time, I think that was that company, and they seem to really take in the feedback, so yeah. That's about it. Thank you so much to Cloud Cash for sending this on to me. Thank you, the watcher, so much for listening, watching, and leaving the comment about your story. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.